The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. We're going to tell you about a couple of growth and income stocks now, courtesy of the editor of our growth uh, and income service, the income investor, Ryan McQueenie, who's here with me. Uh, you always bring interesting stocks to the table, Ryan, and this time um, is no different. Uh, we're going to start with the largest defense contractor, Lockheed Martin. Yeah, so um, I actually wanted to look at this for um, momentum reasons. We'll get to the growth certainly in a second, okay. um, but definitely a, an interesting momentum uh, story playing out here in real time. So I want to look at the one month chart here. Um, as we can see, started the month of September down here below the $320 level, and as recently as yesterday was all the way up here um, in the $345 level. So mm -hmm. obviously kind of just took off like a rocket at the beginning of the month. Um, as we can see here, uh, a gap down within the last few hours of actual trading, uh, realistically, um, we're, we're just now seeing that sell-off kind of stop and the stocks um, rallying a little bit from there. We'll see if that's a, a, a classic dead cat bounce and right. if this rally is really over or if the momentum can pick up again. Um, but certainly been an interesting month for Lockheed Martin investors, especially as um, you know Congress is passing a massive, massive defense spending bill. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some news on that front, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, as you said, we're always looking at the growth prospects as well. So I really want to start with the earnings estimates and the earnings growth. Mm -hmm. um, Ten positive revisions for the company's full year uh, earnings estimates uh, ending in December 2018. Uh, analysts now expecting earnings growth for that period at 27.6 percent. For a company of Lockheed size, that's that's really exciting growth right there. Um, and then into the next fiscal year, looking for growth of another 11.5 percent. Um, again, uh, you know, for the world's largest defense contractor to be consistently hitting that double-digit earnings growth yeah. um, is really impressive. Um, and they and had strong order growth even before the defense bill. Yeah, so order growth. One thing, obviously, um, you know, these are, they're going to have. Uh, they're going to be banking on those orders, and, and to some extent, you're going to you're going to be winning orders all the time. And there's always these headlines of they win this and they won that. Well, they need to win those things. Right. And I will say, um, if we take a look at the revenue outlook here, uh, revenue uh, three percent higher in 2018. A little get picking up the pace a little bit there, uh, to the tune of 5.4 percent in 2019. So yeah, there's there's revenue growth there too. The earnings growth is a little bit. Um, outpacing that, um, but certainly still uh, exciting levels of growth uh, for a company of its stature. And I think if you look at the style scores, we have it as a B uh, in the growth category of our style score system. Yeah, and we'll help the viewers out by saying that we're talking about this on September the 20th. So when you mention real time, that's real time in the trading day of September the 20th. Definitely, and I should say 2.3 percent or 2.4 percent dividend yield right oh. now. Can't forget about the income. Yeah, well. no, I have, dividends. It's what we live on. Yeah, <laughs> partially. Innovative industrial properties. That's a REIT. Yeah, it's a REIT, and I wanted to do it this week. It's it's only a Zach's rank number three hold right now, um, so I wanted to more of kind of bring it in for the trendy aspect of it. Okay. I don't know if you've been following along, but the marijuana stocks are going crazy this week and last week. Um, we've got a, a bunch of names now that are Canadian producers that have come down and listed on U.S. exchanges. And I think just as a general, just because of general interest in getting into the space, these stocks especially have taken off like a rocket, the likes of Tilray, Kronos Group, Canopy Growth. This is actually, in my mind, a pure play marijuana stock as well. Oh. Now, it is a REIT, but they invest in and purchase real estate that is used for medical marijuana facilities. Oh, okay. Um, so it's a little bit different than the Canadian producers, obviously. As we can see from the chart, uh, IPO'd in late 2016, uh, so we don't have a ton of data on it. Um, obviously, really impressive earnings growth, as we can see these consensus lines, quite a bit of distance in between them. Um, that being said, if we actually look at the estimates, we can see that we 
don't have a ton of data here. Um, we have just one earnings estimate. We don't even actually have um, revenue estimates for the full year. Um, so th to me, that says it's difficult to know exactly what we're getting with these estimates if we're right. all going to be on the same page anywhere. But that one estimate is looking for earnings growth of uh, nearly 78% this year uh, into the triple digits next year. And it's a REIT, so you have to you know, pay out a certain amount of your taxable income to shareholders by way of dividend. Mm -hmm. You're getting a 2.3% yield. It's nothing to write home about. It's not insane. It's not crazy. It's just not too shabby. But you know, you're not getting a dividend yield from many other uh, pure play marijuana stocks right now. So it's an interesting way to me to to play um, what is a very trendy industry right now. And being Italian, I use oregano, but that's a whole <laughs> different situation. Uh, do you own either of these two? Um, we have Lockheed Martin in the income investor portfolio. We do not uh, have um, innovative industrial partners or properties, that is. Um, I own neither personally. Okay. Thanks for all that information. Don't forget, you can find more stock information, uh, not only on these two companies, but many others as well on our website, zax.com. All you need to do is get to the homepage, zax.com, and start going through it all from there. And don't forget Ryan's podcast, Tech Talk Tuesdays. Uh, he... Uh, has that on the podcast page of Zax.com. And free lunch that uh, he produces and hosts Monday through Thursday. That is available on most live streaming platforms. So a lot of ways to keep tracking Ryan here. With Ryan, I'm Terry Ruffalo.